Hello, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and I'm super excited to show you today my early learners math curriculum. This math curriculum is made to be hands-on, um, engaging for the kids, and fun. So, you did it, good job. So, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to walk you through Unit 1 and um, show you what is included and um, how it works and what the kids will be doing and just some different activities as well. So, um, let's get started. So, on the, my front cover of my binder here, I have um, just a picture here of all the units. So, when the, when the curriculum is complete, there will be 11 units. Unit 1 is numbers to 10. Unit 2 is teen numbers. Unit 3 is comparing numbers. Mama, Unit so 4 terrible. is um, numbers to 100. And basically, like counting to 100, that kind of thing. Unit 5 is addition. What? Unit 6 is subtraction. Unit 7 is shapes, geometry. Unit 8 is measurement. Unit 9 is graphing and anything to do with data. Unit 10 is money. Um, and, and recognizing coins and counting coins, that kind of thing. And then unit 10 is um, time, telling time. So let's get right into it. Okay, so in here I have unit one um, printed out. So here's unit one. And the first thing, there's five components to each unit. So the first part is the teacher's guide. So here's a teacher's guide and it gives um, all the directions. So here it tells you kind of how to lesson plan. This one is lesson planning. So it gives you ideas on how to lesson plan each um, activity out. This is a skills checklist. So it has the skills. So for the first unit, they will be doing number recognition one to 10, number word recognition one to 10, one to one correspondence, numbers one to 10, and counting one to 10. Now um, you can use this as a checklist as you go through the skills for the first unit. Okay, then here's a list of the activity centers that are in this unit. Um, I showed these in another video. I have them over here um, in, in these bags. So that way I can just pull out the activity centers when we're ready to use them. I will definitely link the other video below where I go through each center and I show you each activity to do with the kids. Um, this one is a pizza counting activity center where they, they count the... Um, pizza pepperonis and they find the match. This one is writing the numbers and counting. This one is um, the uh, farm counting one where they have to match up the, the numbers to all the different um, counters. This one is a pencil counting center where they have to count the pencils and they have to match up the blocks and then they have to find the number card. And then this one is um, matching number words, and there's a lot to this one, but there's um, four different types of cards that they can match up to the number words. This one is the crayon flip and count, where they flip over a card, it's got a number on it, and then they count out the amount of crayons to put in the crayon box. So um, these are just a few of them um, that I have pulled out here, and I show them in um, another video, so I'll leave a link below for that if you've seen it already. Uh, I mean, if you haven't seen it already. Okay, then, um, so then you can keep track of those here. And then it gives you a guide for um, the interactive worksheets, which I'm going to show you as well. So the next section um, after the teacher's guide is reference charts. I provide reference charts for the unit. Now, the cool thing about these charts, you can use them as is. Here you can see I have number charts. Um, or um, what's one fun thing to do is if you have pom-poms with magnets on them, what you can do is you can use them for um, counting. So here it says one, and he has one scoop of ice cream. And then the child could take the magnet and put one um, pom-pom on there, so one. And then when they do two, they would put one, let me get another one, two on there. So these charts can be also turned kind of interactive as well. And there he has two ice cream cones. You could post these charts up on the wall if you'd rather. You can, um, I like to um, use a magnet and stick them to my whiteboard and as we're using them and talking about them. Um, and we'll count. We can use them as flashcards, that kind of thing. So these ones go, um, I have them going up to 10 because this unit is counting to 10. And obviously, again, they can use those um, it's actually called um, dot math, or what do they call it? Where they 
I think it's called something like dot math. But anyway, for eight, you would do two on that side, and you would do two on this side, and you just keep going the same way. You would do two here, so that's what eight would look like. Oops, I put that there. Um, so it has two on each side like that. And uh, so yeah, you could just do that with all of these charts, but you also obviously can use them um, as you're teaching as well. Okay, then another chart that's included is number words. Here you can see it's got the number words, and it's got the amount of apples in each basket. And then you've got counting to 10, and all of the kids are counting with their fingers, showing counting to 10. And then this one is just like a, a reference chart with um, some little ocean animals for counting to 10. Okay, so after the reference chart, the next section and the next component to this curriculum is um, all of the interactive worksheets. So I'm going to kind of show you um, these worksheets. You can, I put mine out in color. You can obviously very well print them out on white paper and everything you see here is also included in black and white so if you saw the color posters you don't have to print them out in color you can put them out in black and white but anyways back to this so the interactive worksheets here like this one here they're going to count how many apples are in the basket and then they're going to cut out the puzzle piece and put the one that has the correct number in that spot and then once they do so it will make a picture um, this one here you could use it as is. So what they would do is they're going to count the um, little sprinkles on each of the donuts, and then they're going to cut out the number and they would paste it next to it. Or um, another thing you can do is I absolutely love this little math um, hundreds board that I bought, and I believe it's from Learning Resources, and um, I will try to find it and leave the link below. Um, but what they could do is instead of, uh, if you wanted them to reuse the worksheet and not have to um, print out you know, more or just reuse it over and over again, they could use these. So here they would count one, two, three, four sprinkles, and then they would grab the number four and just stick it here instead of cutting and pasting. So you're making it interactive for um, the kiddos. So anything, um, you could also use magnetic uh, letters if you have those. Um, I know a lot, lots of people have those, but I really like these, these little tiles that come with this. So you can do that. This one is a missing numbers and you can use the tiles for this one too. So here I have, um, this one, they would, um, you, they would write so that you could do two and then they would write a three, four, two, three, four, or they could use the tiles like I have here. Or I even, um, another idea is to use number stickers. And they could put the stickers in there to make it a little bit more interactive. But yeah, so this one is missing numbers just, you know, up through 10 because this unit is only counting to 10. Um, so that is for that one. Um, same thing here, cut and paste the numbers. They're going to count the crayons. Or, of course, you could use the tiles again. So here they would put a four. Okay. Or you could even use the um, stickers. Okay, this one is a count in color. So they would count how many um, are on each caterpillar, and then they're going to re-color um, the boxes to match. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then they would color six boxes. Or um, another way you could do it is if you have any of those little mini erasers here, I have some mini star erasers, then they could count one, two, three, and they could put the stars on there. One, two, Three. So then you could reuse the worksheet over and over again if you wanted to. Um, so that's another way to do it. The next one here is called Spin and Color. And I have found an easy way to make a spinner, or the best way to make a spinner, is to use these little brads and um, a clip like this. And when you stick it on there, um, I would stick it on there first and then put the brad through it. And when you spin it, it spins a lot better than a paper clip. But you could also use a brad and a paper clip, or you could just use a pencil, hold a pencil up with a paper clip or with one of these. And these seem to spin better than the paper clips. But um, so you would make your spinner, and then one way they could do it is they could color. So if they landed on um, number two, they would color one of these cookie jars that has a number two blue. So they would color this one blue. Um, another way you could do it to make it more interactive is you could use 
um, numbers. So if you have, over here I have um, some magnetic numbers and some numbers that I have from a puzzle. And so what they could do is if they sp spun a two, they could find the number two and they could go ahead and just put it right on there. And then they would spin again and see what else they could spin and cover them up like that. Or again, you could just use the worksheet one time and color and use it with the colors. Um, so those are just options there. Um, here's another one that they would spin and they would color or spin and cover. So when they sp would spin, if they, you know, um, they get a two, they're gonna put a number two on there. These are just other, some more puzzle, um, some more some more numbers that I have from a Melissa and Doug puzzle that we like to use. And same thing goes here. Um, they could use their tiles, if you have tiles, if you have puzzle numbers, they could use their puzzle numbers so they can match it up like this, three and three. Or again, you could just use it as a worksheet so they could cut these out and glue and paste them on. Um, this is another one where they count and they fill it in like I showed you with the erasers or they could color it. And then this last one, they're gonna roll a die. So here I have a die. They're gonna roll it. I got a one. So um, if I got a one, I'm gonna look in this column and I'm going to trace number words. So this one's rolling and tracing the number words. So I'm gonna trace one of the number words and I'm gonna roll again. This time I got a three. So I'm in this column and I'm gonna trace the number word, the number five, or whatever it is, whatever number word I still have. And so they're gonna roll and they're gonna trace the number words for that one. Okay, so those are the interactive worksheets for unit one. And then there's a unit test for each of the units. So this is the unit test for number one, looks like this. And um, yeah, it's just two pages. It's nothing you know fancy because it's just counting to 10. So it's for you know younger kids. And again, this curriculum is geared for primary students, kindergarten, first, or second. Now, since all students learn at their own rate and their own pace, um, you know, it's flexible so that you could use it with, um, you know, any student at any any young age. And here, um, again, this one is just counting to 10, and then it kind of changes for each unit depending on what the skill level is and what the skill is that, that they're gonna be working on. So. I'm gonna leave a link below where you can buy just unit one or you can save oh, um, a whole lot because look, if you buy the entire curriculum, it's discounted way down because I only have unit one completed and a few of the activity centers for unit five are there. I have an activity center for unit eight and one activity center for, I believe, unit three. Um, so far in the curriculum. So it's discounted and then every time I add a new unit or a new activity to it, the price is gonna rise. So you can lock in the price right now, buy it really low, and then as I add units or add um, content, you will get all of that for free. You'll just go back and download it um, once you've purchased. So you can, um, so right now is the lowest price it will ever be. Um, or you can just buy each unit separately um, that way, so I'll leave that link below too, and I will um, try to answer any of your questions that you have that you leave below. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.